Hey guys, it's Jancia here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about trying TikTok beauty hacks or trends. So if you're interested in seeing the sort of TikTok beauty hacks or trends that are going around right now, me trying them, please stay tuned because I'm about to get into doing that. Just pre-warning before we get started, I am currently in the middle of doing a skincare routine, so if my face is like rose, excuse that. I've got a bit of purging, I'm going through the purging phase. But anyways, so I'll be using my phone to see exactly what trend I'll be doing today. So I'm going to record my screen, so it should pop up somewhere on your screen there of what trend I'll be doing today. And the reason I've got no makeup on right now is because I've seen like a couple of the hacks involve like foundation and then kind of moves on from there. Here we go. Foundation. Powder. Mix. Okay, so I don't know if I did that right, but this is what I ended up with. Moment of truth. Okay, so I already feel the foundation much thicker, so that's a plus. Oh my god, bitch. Look at that. Let's see if it covers this big ol' six. What the f- This is some brujeria sh guys look at this try it try it try it try it try it okay so what i think what she did was she mixed her her powder her like what? let me rewind i think she mixed one of her powders together with the foundation it made it like a weird consistency supposedly it's good so let me rewind it really quick foundation so foundation mix and her powder so I don't know if I did that and then she put it on her face before I do that I'm just gonna quickly put my cream on which will help my foundation sit just in case this goes wrong okay so I've got this cream I'll be using which is the Palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin E just because it helps smooth marks and tones my skin so I'll be using this I don't currently have a really good mirror so I'll be using like a really small one where did I put that did I leave that over there Oh, it's right there. <laughs> God damn, I'm a kleptomaniac. Yeah, this little mirror here, just to see what I'm doing. I currently lost the lid, so it looks pretty dank right now. Not gonna lie to you. First time using this camera, so I'm not sure exactly the quality of everything. So I'm sorry if it's like not in focus or like I just look weird in general. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying a new camera at the moment, so bear with me. <sighs> I'm gonna rub this in really quick. Probably shouldn't do this, but I mean, this is how I usually do it. Not the sounds of my jacket rubbing together. Love that. Let me tell you something funny, okay? So I was washing my beauty blender this morning and for some reason the dishwashing liquid that I was using to wash the beauty blender was closed. So I tried sniffing it while it was closed. I realized, oh, it's, it's not open. So then I opened it again and then I sniffed it and I accidentally squeezed because it's brand new and I accidentally filled my right nostril with dishwashing liquid. <sighs> so that was fun. So now all I can smell is pomegranate right now. <laughs> Oh god, cooks. You have to wash your beauty blender before you use it just to like prevent bacteria and pimples because as you can see I have very acne prone skin. I mean look at my chin. It's a sight and a half. So I'm trying to currently get rid of my acne. I'm trying a Korean skincare um, routine and it seems to be going very well. Like I think my skin is starting to look relatively healthy and now it's starting to clear up because I get pimples really bad just here. But yeah, let's get into doing that trend. So what she did was, yeah, she mixed her foundation and her powder so I'm gonna do that really quick so I've got the BYS translucent loose powder in the color lights this is how it looks um it's gross excuse that and this is the foundation I'll be using which is just the L'Oreal palace palace Paris L'Oreal Paris true match super blendable foundation so I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand one two see a little bit of this goes a very very long way so I'm um, won't need much of that hopefully and now I'm gonna attempt to not make a mess while I uh, put this on my hand Hopefully you guys can see it. Oh my god, this is so unusual to me. This is like doing my, my makeup in alphabetical order. It just feels wrong and weird. How much, how much powder do I actually put on this? Like I'm genuinely unsure right now. Supposedly I'm meant to mix it together. I'm gonna use my concealing brush and attempt mix it together oh my god this is so strange okay so this has made it really really thick which I actually was hoping for anyways because my foundation is really light but I don't know if this is gonna be good for my acne prone skin like I mentioned before I'm really gonna make sure it's like blended in it Wow, look at the consistency of it though can we talk about that like that looks really nice okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it to my skin that is a mess and a half so let's see how that goes I'm just gonna like yeah, just like dab it on my pimples first and I'm going to blend it out with my hand or the beauty blender. 
So far, it looks kind of weird. Like, I'm not going to lie with you guys. This feels very, very strange. <laughs> but I mean, it's covering the redness, and I guess that's all that matters. Maybe I put a bit too much in those places. Okay, I'm gonna put that down really quick and get my beauty blender that I washed. Oh my god, I've got foundation on my shirt already and powder apparently. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. Those are the sounds of me bashing my face. Okay, seems to be going well. It doesn't look too bad. It's like genuinely covering my pimples. I mean, you can still see, of course, where they are, but majority of it is actually covered. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more to my face. Okay, I'm gonna dab just a little bit on my nose here on my beauty mark. I don't actually like my beauty mark. A lot of people apparently want a beauty mark. I don't know why. I personally don't like mine. I'd like to get it removed one day. Okay, so the consistency is actually getting really weird on my hands. So I'm a bit worried for my face. It's like getting crusty and a little bit dry. But we'll see. It's like, yeah, it's like setting before I can blend it on my face. So I don't know if I'll be doing this again. I don't like how it's blending, in my opinion. But, I mean, she did use two separate products compared to what I used, so her results, I guess the results will vary in general. Mine, I'm not liking the look of, just because mine's Kmart brand. She's probably using Sephora makeup, <laughs> expensive, high-end makeup, and I'm just using Kmart brand. <laughs> not really liking the quality of how it's going so far. I mean, my forehead looks kind of okay. Yeah, can you see? It's like getting stuck to my forehead. I can't blend it. It's getting difficult and it's like clumping up. Yeah, see, I can't blend it. It's just like doing its own thing at this point. Ew. Oh my God, ew. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like getting really gross in this area. Ew. I, I just want to remove this now and just do my normal one. But we have to continue with the video. Ew, okay, so it's, yeah, it's going in like a weird consistency right now and I'm not, I'm not liking this at all. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna go in and just do it under my eyes now. I kind of knew this would go wrong just because of look how my hand looks at the moment. So let's go under my eyes just a little bit. Apparently there's a piece of fluff in my eyebrow. What are you doing there? Okay, it's it's doing weird stuff on my eyelids. It looks actually so gross. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to zoom in just so I can show you what it's doing in my face. Oh my god. Why are you gross? It's like uh, it's like a new extra layer of skin that's peeling off. That's what it looks like. It looks really disgusting. TikTok hacks gone wrong. This truly is an example of why you shouldn't believe everything that you see on the internet because half the time they're cap. They're bull and this one is bull. I look disgusting now and my skin is probably gonna break out. It's horrible. I can't, I can't. I got foundation on my pants. Oh my, you know what, I give up trying to blend this because this is actually doing my hair in. This is horrible. I'm going to wipe this off my hand before I get it even more on my pants. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. I wouldn't recommend trying that one. I'm trying these trends slash hacks so you do not have to do this. You don't have to ruin your skin and pants and break out. Maybe you're not as messy as me. I'm just a messy person in general. You should see my room. It looks like it's an hit it. Okay, so the next one is, we will have a look. We're going to watch this together. Moment of truth. It's like... Hers looks flawless compared to how mine looks currently. I'm not trying it. No, I'm, this, no, I'm not doing this ever again. 
That was horrible. Wait, what's this? Apparently this is supposed to make your lip look like a filler. So I'm not going to do that because I don't have a nude colour. How to fake an eyelid. Okay, so she has it in like this like V shape just under her eye, her eye, sh I don't know, under her eyebrow bone and just like from the corner of her eye and then she fills out with like this dark stuff just underneath that and then does she blend it? Blends it all like up this way. I've never done that before so let's see how that goes. I have to get my contour palette out. Various sounds of me going through my makeup box. Love that. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I found the brush. Okay, I'm gonna be using maybe, I think I should probably go with a warmer color. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm just gonna do what she said. So I'm gonna start with my right eye. What was it? She did. I'm gonna go this. This brush might be a bit too big. Oh my god. I'm gonna use this brush to try that. Let's try again. So much fallout, not enough product to stay on the brush. Look at this. Honestly, I don't even know what she's doing. She did like this weird thing. Not me totally probably doing this wrong. I like went that way, I think. And then she had like the con like the concealer just under here and also up that way. So let me use the same product I used before. Let's see if I can do this. I might not have enough product from stuff I used before. Can you see that gross little chunk right there? Of just the foundation. Hello? What are you doing there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that the same? Just the product just like sitting wrong. Oh my. Look at my whole face. Can you see that? I hope you can see it because it looks actually horrendous. I'm going to take a photo of how my face looks up close right now. Oh my god, maybe my phone camera is showing it well. I'm going to go like horribly close to my face right now. It looks actually disgusting. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Now I'm gonna grab, just so I don't run out of product, I'm just gonna grab like a tiny bit and I'm gonna use that look at the concealer today. So yeah, she went like that, question mark, question mark, and then she went like, yeah, and then she, I think she blended it out? No, wait, wait, I think I remember she put it a little bit here too. She like genuinely contoured her, her eyes. She contoured her eyes, literally. Okay, I kind of see the effect of it, but yet don't. Hmm, I don't see much of a difference, but I mean, Let's do it with the other eye. Never know. Might be better with the other eye. The left eye. I love when it's so silent. All you can hear is sound of my clothes rubbing together. Cause this is like a weird material. My nan gave it to me. So excuse that. Supposedly this is meant to give me a eye lift, but I'm not seeing this happening. Oh wait, no, you know what? I kind of see it with this eye, but not so much this eye. I might go back in with this eye and just try and like do it again, but just with the eyeshadow, because concealer's not sitting right today because of the stuff that's actually on the brush. So technically we are using the same stuff. We're going to leave it like that. And then we're going to move on to the next step which we will have a look and see if that is it now. Okay, so you might have to mute that due to copyright reasons. I think I'm gonna go for like the enhanced cheekbone look. So let me let me go back and look at how she actually gets that. 
Okay, so she puts it like just lightly under just here, I think. So maybe I'm gonna do that. And what else does she do? Does she literally just blend it? I'm gonna quickly do that really quick. You guys get to see me do that. I have to go find my palette that has blush in it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a Beauty Book. Kind of English. Beauty Book Face Eye Kit. But we're gonna use this bright red one, pinky whatever color that is on my face. The difference is I'm gonna be using not the cream. This is like literally just powder. She's using cream, so this might look different anyways. Why is everything falling out so badly today? Like my makeup's just like not behaving. Is it the weather? Probably. Anyway, so I think she put it just here. I don't know. Yes, I know that's very intense. Give me a second. Yeah, she just like blended it out and it's supposed to enhance my cheekbones. Everything is so chaotic today because of my foundation. Okay, so I'm back. I just had to swap from my camera to my phone because my camera ran out of storage. Great timing, am I right? Anyways, at least you can kind of get a view of how I look right now. It looks okay, but now we're gonna continue to the next one, which was, I can't remember, but I'm just gonna go look at that really quick and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I don't know if I put this on the screen or not, but hopefully I did. Um, she basically drew like a line from her corner, went upwards and then like that. She put the, the eyelashes, like not <laughs> not on her eyelids basically. Um, so I'm just gonna show you because I'm crap at explaining things. Since I'm just chilling here baking, let's try that out. Okay, so liner, lash, glue, lash, you just draw a straight line from the outer corner up like a wing, like so. Then so take our lash and like connect, like that. This is so wrong. Well, she's stuck. Now we just fill in this blank space. Okay, what? Okay, this wing looks snatched like cat eyes. Hello. Yeah, so she drew, yeah, literally like a line mm -hmm. upwards from the shape. But I'll do it with this eye just so you can see. Like that. And then she like glued it there. Yeah, so while I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna go get my eyelashes. I'm gonna do what she told me to do. So I'm gonna use old eyelashes just because the new ones that I have, I don't really wanna ruin them for this crap. So they have a bit of blush or like red eyeshadow. <laughs> so yeah, that's gross, I'm sorry. But basically she like glued it so it looks like that and it's supposed to give a wing. Um, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna use this dank glue. And I'm only gonna do this on one eye just because this is a waste of my products. But I'm doing it because you guys shouldn't have to test these hacks and watch them fail like mine have so far. This is the reality of TikTok hacks and how not all of them are exactly as they say they are. You can watch me do them show you the reality. Because like, if you're like me and you can't exactly afford Sephora high-end makeup, that's like $50 for a bottle of Huda Beauty Fox filter foundation which I've tried and it's crap. This is the reality of using over-the-counter stuff like at your price line, your food store. This is where I get all my products. This is how everything actually works. I love waiting for my eyelash glue to get tacky. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. See if I can do it close to the camera. So she can do it to be honest. Okay. I don't know. Oh yeah. Uh, set the way way better job than Oh, I just put that on. Oh, whoa. Well, that actually looks so good. Hang on a sec. Wait, this goes on to something. Oh my God. And then she, wow. Oh my God, I actually love that. That looks cute. There's that con <laughs> that one contour speck that I didn't blend that apparently got under my lip and above my lip. Okay, so now I'm gonna put eyeliner just in that crevice. She probably did the other eye. We'll do that after this one. So from a distance, this looks good, but up close, it looks really weird. Okay. Okay, we love that actually. I love that. I absolutely love that. I think that looks really pretty. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do the other side just for like full results. Oh my god, I can see like the eyelashes here. Let's do the other side, guys. Let's try and match it. <laughs> okay, this is the one hack that I actually genuinely like out of this whole video. That is that hack done. I 110% recommend trying this one hack. This one I actually like. It makes your eyes look, how does it say, more lifted. Plus with the, the lifting contour that we did before. I look really different though, I'm not gonna lie. But I think it looks very pretty. Like, wow. Okay, well, okay, what's my eyelash doing right now? I can batter my eyes like a little kid that wants a lollipop. <laughs> I love that. I actually love that. Okay, now the next hack I will do now. So I watched back all the other videos on this hack video and basically they were all contours for your nose and shiz like that, but I don't really like contouring my face in general. I mean, we haven't done like this one. So I suppose I should do that one hack where it's like, no, we're just gonna contour normally. And then we'll see how we go out. Just because, look how bright red my cheeks are right now. Um, I should probably finish this off. Oh my god, we did nothing with the eyebrows though. I didn't see any in that video, but I was just following one video. I could have followed more, I guess, but save it for another video if you guys like this video. But we're not quite finished yet. I'm just going to quickly contour the rest of my face and honestly see if I can fix this up. This nightmare. Nothing's going well just because of the foundation and how I did the foundation today. That's a horrendous job of contour. It suits the rest of my face. Oh my god, that's so horrible. Uh, this is why I don't contour. Especially on a poor coat of foundation. Okay, I'm gonna try and blend it out with that big old brush that I used before. My face is jiggling with like every brush upwards. Look at it. Love that. So hot. So flattering and attractive. It's so hard to do. I'm like tempted to just wipe my whole face off and do it all over again. Oh, I don't think we can fix this. Honestly, this is like treacherous, horrible. The problem with using my left hand is how aggressive and strong my left hand is. Look, it looks like a whole nother hand. Like, if I go like this, it looks like someone else is like literally touching my face right now. That's how manly my hands are. Like, <laughs> It's probably as good as we're gonna get it today. <sighs> I actually look disgusting. So we did the nose, the foundation, the cheeks, and that one. That should be good, right? Yeah. Anyways, okay, if, <laughs> if you found this video interesting or you've watched it this whole way, give this video a big thumbs up, comment whatever you like down below, and don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting every single week. The schedule was every single Wednesday, but I'm changing it to Saturdays. So that's probably Friday for Americans. Anyways, that's that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it each and every single one of you and I've made it to 145 subscribers which is really good some of them are my friends some of them are strangers we love you anyway Mwah. anyways see you next week bye